Good morning, everyone. Good mm. afternoon, good night, good evening. Uh, especially thank you for Professor, Professor Oishi, who accepted to actually give a talk at 10 p.m. in, uh, in Tokyo, so it's highly appreciated. Um, so Professor Oishi uh, obtained his PhD at the Graduate School of Science and Engineering at uh, Waseda University in 1981. And in 1980, he became an assistant at the same university in Waseta, where he became in 1981, 1983, and 1988, respectively, a lecturer, an associate professor, and a professor, uh, where he is now uh, also a professor in the Department of Applied Mathematics. So from 1990, he has been engaged in the study of verified computation. He was serving as dean and senior dean of the Faculty of Science and Engineering at Waseta University. He wrote more than 10 books on mathematics, numerical analysis, verified computations, and computer science, all in Japanese. In 2020, he was designed as person of cultural merit uh, from the Ministry of Education, Culture, Sports, Science, and Technology in Japan. So we have Professor Oishi giving a talk today, and he will be speaking about uh, computer-assisted existence proof of complicated dynamics in Force delay equations, uh, force delay action oscillator modeling El Nino phenomena. Please, Professor Ishii, the floor is all yours. Thank you very much for your nice introduction. So uh, today I'd like to talk about this uh, or under this title. So uh, in my talk, uh, mainly we analyze a nonlinear phenomena, but uh, I also present a linear algebraic uh, concept. Uh, a sympathetic diagonal dominant matrix theory. So uh, this is the uh, joint work with uh, Sekine, Kota Sekine, uh, Toyo University. Uh, he was a student, of, a doctoral student, previous doctoral student. Uh, so um, this is the outline of, uh, of my talk. So in this talk, uh, first Schwartz shock equation is treated. Uh, this is a delay differential equation modeling El Nino phenomena. We present a computer assisted proof for the existence of various, for proving the existence of various periodic solutions. Uh, a numerical verification method is proposed by utilizing a structure of the Dirac equation for post Schwartz shock equation. Effectively, uh, this is related to the asymptotic diagonal dominant matrix theory uh, I will propose. Especially, coexistence of several subharmonics are proved, and the numerical simulation are presented, suggesting uh, appearance of pairs. So, uh, Schwartz Shop equation, uh, sometimes I abbreviate it as uh, SS equation. Uh, so uh, in 1988, uh, they introduced uh, delay action oscillator equation. This equation, equation one, as a simple model of El Nino. So we will call it as a short shock equation, or ISS equation. Uh, the variable X uh, represents a deviation of uh, sea surface temperature from average. Uh, so uh, we will measure this temperature near Peru. And the term, this term uh, represents an effect of energy exchange between sea surface and the atmosphere. And this term here uh, represents an effect of delay by wave propagation. Here, tau is a constant. Uh, so it represents uh, delay time. So, uh, so delay by wave propagation on the equator from this uh, Peru area to the east end of Asia, namely the Indonesia. This, is, this propagation is done by the eastward uh, uh, Kelvin wave and reflected at uh, Indonesia and reflect, reflecting back to near Peru. Uh, this is the westward losing wave. So uh, totally, it takes around uh, 
one year what is uh, several times a uh, year. And so parameter tau, uh, which is a constant, express a turn around time. So, so this is a delay, constant delay time, time, and this is nonlinear time. So, uh, Schwarzschopf have shown that periodic solution with uh, the long period exist comparable to those of the real El Nino phenomenon. However, uh, SS equation cannot describe a uh, synchronization to the seasonal change, nor many of complex behavior of El Nino phenomenon. So to overcome this, several authors also consider to add an effect of seasonal forcing. Uh, for example, uh, Gil, uh, Zariapin, and Thompson have introduced another model of El Nino uh, phenomena, namely by this equation. So uh, in this equation, nonlinear term and the uh, delay term is combined into a one term. So hyperbolic tangent nonlinearity is in and the delay is included in the nonlinear term. And uh, they add uh, uh, this forcing term. C is a constant representing amplitude of the force. And so this is the uh, uh, sensorial forcing term. So uh, they show uh, it has, uh, they show that the complex dynamics can be described by this equation. Also, another uh, different <laughs> have investigated equation two and shown uh, the coexistence of stable theory and the complex dynamics in this equation. So I think, however, this is a little bit complicated and also it is strange because the delayed effect is, is in, included in a nonlinear terms, not so straightforward. So that uh, uh, I propose to consider this uh, post delay action delayed equation. So namely, uh, this is the Schwarzschopf equation, and I'd like to add this term to this uh, equation. Then this is the post uh, Schwarzschopf equation, and uh, this is just a uh, forcing term is just uh, additive, additively added, uh, additive, uh, additive uh, forcing term, and uh, so. Uh, so we we will analyze uh, post Schwarzschopf. Uh, we abbreviated it as the FSS equation using a computer assist proof based on a verified numerical computations. And in the verification procedure, we will propose an extension of diagonal dominant matrix. Namely, we will propose a new concept of asymptotic diagonal dominant matrix. We will show that this concept is quite useful to prove the existence of various harmonic solutions uh, of this equation. Uh, also, we will uh, so in the same uh, so we will prove coexistence of several subharmonics in the same parameter region, which suggests the existence of chaos. Uh, also, we will report various chaotic phenomena can be seen in various parameter sets in this equation. So, uh, previous work, uh, uh, I, I'd like to mention a little bit. So, in 1965, Urabe has initiated a study of including a physical solution for the double equation. In 1972, Book has uh, given a functional estimate of the key constant in the lab set. Based on these results, in 1995, I have presented a method of computational proof of the existence of exact solutions for general nonlinear total equations. Recently, extensive studies have con uh, conducted on computer assisted proof 
for the existence of periodic solution for delayed differential equations using numerical equations. Uh, in the previous work, I have uh, presented a method of including a uh, periodic solution to a delayed differential so um, this is not a verification result, but uh, I can prove this theorem very easily, namely uh, theorem one, if sigma t is uh, continuous, uh, so uh, continuous minus uh, uh, continuous function on the interval minus sub to zero is given, this is the initial function, then uh, equation three with the initial history has a global solution, uh, C1 solution for any T. And uh, uh, we will pr prove the periodic existence of periodic solution by a computer assisted uh, proof. So in this method, step one, Using Fourier Galerkin method, we obtain a very good approach solution. Then uh, consider the initial infinite dimensional Newton method, starting with this approach solution. Uh, we will prove the existence of a periodic solution using a convergence theorem Newton method. And uh, uh, so, so to show the condition of the convergence theorem of Newton method, uh, we will use a numer uh, numerical computation with local computation. So uh, in order to treat, uh, it, it, to, to, to simplify the analysis, we introduce a variable transformation, S equal to minus T, and then equation three can be written in this form. So uh, external force has a knee pi period, two pi period, I'm sorry, two pi period. Uh, equation four has a symmetry, uh, namely if xt is a solution, then uh, this is also a solution too. Usually this solution and xt is different, but if this is coincide, it is called the auto symmetry uh, solution. For the moment, I, I will consider the, to prove the existence of auto symmetric solution, but uh, uh, later uh, we will consider general solutions. So uh, let uh, so we will use a functional analytic framework so that uh, let L2. Uh, be a, a square integrable functions on the interval zero to pi. And uh, with uh, this in the product, we use this notation and uh, put x and y for L to zero to pi. Uh, to pi. And the H1, H1s is uh, uh, this space. X uh, sobret space, uh, essentially sobret space, but satisfy all the symmetry. We you, we use the inner product, this one and uh, H one uh, model defined by this form. Then uh, we will define the differential operator, linear differential operator. Uh, that its domain of definition is H on S and the uh, range is uh, uh, in L2 space. And then um, uh, if we introduce also a nonlinear operator, this one, then uh, we define F by this uh, formula. Then if X uh, belongs to D satisfies fx or zero, then x becomes a periodic solution of the post equation. So that uh, we would like to solve this equation and to obtain a periodic solution of the post equation. Uh, 
It is easy to see that uh, F is the pressure differential and its pressure derivative is given by it. So uh, we can prove that the operator L is a free doping operator with index zero. And uh, N is a compact operator. So that uh, F equal L plus N is a free doping operator with index zero. Uh, so third smell uh, lemma uh, that the uh, zero is uh, without loss of generator, we can assume that uh, zero is a regular value of F. Furthermore, uh, we can see that F is proper. Namely, uh, if M is a compact, then uh, if inverse M is compact. So uh, using this property, we can easily show the theorem too. This is also analytic, not uh, computational. So that the first Schwarzschild equation has at least one uh, odd symmetric solution and satisfy this uh, bound. This is the analytic so that uh, we, we can meet that proof. So uh, we would like to prove the much more general periodic solution. So, but for the moment we will uh, we will present a theory for the auto symmetric solution, but uh, we can extend it to a general uh, periodic solution. So that uh, we assume that X is auto symmetric, then uh, its Fourier series expansion can be. Uh, represented as an order term. Then we define a projection operator by projecting infinite dimensional to a finite n. n is an integer, positive integer, with a Fourier equation. Then uh, uh, it is well known that uh, it's L2. Uh, Projection error measured by uh, L2 norm satisfies this bound. So sigma n is uh, defined over, over the 1 over 2n plus 1. And this is the L2 norm of the uh, first derivative of the x. So, so now we consider a Galakian approximation of the Schwarzschild equation. So, so we would like to consider this type of approximate solution. If x equal belongs to the subordinate space, then it has a Fourier equation, the uh, Fourier expansion, and uh, so so the uh, uh, we can define Galakian approximation approximation in this one. So if we express P and X by its Fourier equation, then uh, this one, uh, fresh derivative of the Galactic approximation can be defined by this one. So it is a matrix uh, representation of the uh, first derivative of the Galactic approximation, namely GMM is like the expression of the Jacobian or the Galactic approximation through Fourier equation. So we can compute this uh, matrix using the computer. So this is a basic verification theorem. So, uh, so mm, this is uh, already proved in 1995. So let X, Y, and L become L2 space and D is a H1 symbolic space uh, consisting of uh, other symmetric solutions. Uh, let sigma N is one over two N minus one. And uh, UN is a projection space, uh, VN is also space. Then, then the uh, pressure derivative of the nonlinear operator can be extended to a bounded operator from x to y, and uh, this one can. This is bounded operator, and we have this 
this is so that uh, one plus one plus uh, this one. We put this constant as a the there. Then uh, if we can, uh, so we can calculate the inverse if we if we can prove the existence of the inverse of the uh, Jacobian of the galactic approximation equation, and we have this constant, then if this inequality is hold, namely one minus cn times this constant is less than uh, greater than zero, namely uh, this is less than one, then uh, uh, the inverse of the pressure derivative is uh, uh, given by, bounded by this one. So in the uh, denominator, we have this constant. Uh, later, I, I will show that K0, uh, this, con this time, this part sometimes becomes uh, uh, 10 to the 16, six, 10 to the six, sometimes. Uh, for uh, subharmonic solution for, for long period. Then sigma n should be uh, less, less than 10 to the minus six. So, so sigma n is uh, defined by, uh, oh, sorry, so defined by this one so that the uh, we should take a very big n uh, such that 10 to the 6. So this is uh, uh, not a realistic. So that uh, uh, I need uh, uh, some, um, some trick uh, to, to make applicable this theorem 4 to, to the force Schwarz certification. This is the main one, one of the main part of, the, of my talk. Uh, before I explain this one, so I would like to mention a little bit about the uh, Newton Cantovich type theorem. This is not uh, uh, my theorem. This is, uh, this is known before. Huh? So I will show this later. later, later. So, uh, this is the extension of the newton cantorbis theorem that, so that uh, uh, this part, so usually newton cantorbis theorem assumes that the uh, uh, first derivative of the nonlinear operator f is a uh, uh, repeat constant, but a uh, uh, repeat continuous. But uh, uh, instead, uh, we assume uh, only this one. So be, uh, here, Br tilde is a positive for NR and monotonically decreasing to zero as R tend to zero. If uh, this is satisfied, then, uh, uh, then we can prove the, a unique fixed point or uh, zero of F in, in, uh, in this ball. So, so uh, the, now I would like to explain uh, accelerated verification theorem. So this is one of the main main theorem, main point I would like to present. So, uh, so mm, let M be a positive integer and uh, uh, this is the same, and this is the same, and so this is the same. And we consider this type of Galakian ablocking solution. And, and, and this is the this is same. And further, we consider uh, with different n this type of approximation. Then uh, we calculate a Galakian equation for at, at this p. Not to this x, that this p, and uh, then if n equal n is greater than four times n, then uh, then uh, the Jacobian Jacobian, uh, namely this 
matrix becomes a uh, asymptotic diagonal dominant. And we can prove that uh, we can prove that uh, so these these uh, quantity are explained in appendix so that uh, I will explain soon. Anyway, uh, MN is the uh, upper band of this one, so upper band of this one. Then uh, we can we have this type of band. So the, uh, this is uh, the, this don't have a denominator, only numerator of the previous cell. So so uh, M is much less than ten to the six. So around the uh, uh, thousand or something. Okay. So that, so that I would like to explain this one. So, uh, so I would like to explain a sympathetic diagonal dominant matrix theory. This is uh, 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 our new theory. So, a new theory. So, MNC be the set of all complex matrix order N. So, uh, so this is a, a set of matrix. And uh, G and G star, uh, G, G is uh, belong to. Uh, uh, just uh, n by n matrix and the uh, complex matrix and G star B is Hermitian conjugate, namely defined by this. And this, so, uh, of course, similar value of G are positive root of uh, eigenvalues of this. And uh, so, uh, this is a, uh, we, we use this notation, Rig is a uh, 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 sum of the absolute value of G uh, of diagonal. So I is fixed and uh, J is not I and sum, this summation of this one. So if, uh, so uh, uh, this is a uh, uh, low low sum. So that uh, uh, this is this condition shows that uh, matrix D is a diagonal dom uh, diagonal dominant with respect to low, and th this shows that uh, matrix D is a diagonal. Uh, uh, column diagonal dome. So, um, so this is a, a very f famous notation. And uh, uh, Tausky in 1945, 49, uh, Tausky has shown that if G is a low diagonal dominant, then G is in fact this formula falls. And uh, also, if uh, G is column diagonal dominant, G, uh, then G is in background, this formula calls. So that uh, 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 G2, G, uh, two norm of G is less than this one, if uh, G is diagonal. Uh, also, Barrow shows that the uh, diagonal, for a diagonal dominant matrix D, uh, minimum similar value uh, is uh, more than this. Anyway, uh, this is very famous. So I'd like to now uh, define a sympathetic diagonal dominant matrix. So uh, let D be uh, n by n matrix and can be uh, divided into four, four sub matrix A, B, C, D. E. And A is a B by B sub matrix and B is uh, N minus B times N minus B. Ah, sorry, sorry. Uh, D is uh, N minus B times N minus B sub matrix. And B is uh, B times N minus B matrix. And uh, uh, C is uh, N minus B times B matrix. Uh, 
So this is so. Uh, then uh, we will call G as a symptomatic low diagonal dominant if uh, this code, namely if K is greater than B, so B is uh, size of A sub matrix A into B, B by B. So that uh, from this part, namely D, D is, uh, mm, from this part, uh, from this part, uh, G is diagonal domain. So this is important. And uh, also, uh, now then, uh, then, uh, and assume that D is a uh, low diagonal dominant, then uh, uh, D, D is a uh, uh, diagonal part of D, and DF is a uh, off-diagonal part of D. Uh, if D is a sympathetic low diagonal dominant, then D, D inverse D, and if, it, we, we don't know, but uh, we can, we assume that if A inverse is this and this A inverse B infinity mu and D, 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 D inverse C, D, F uh, is less than one, then G inverse is this and satis enjoy this one. And uh, the proof is very simple. Uh, so that uh, uh, instead of G, we, we consider this simplified one. And uh, from the assumption, we can, we, we can show that H in the so that, uh, uh, so, and uh, under our assumption, this, is uh, becomes we can prove that this quantity becomes less than one so that we have this so the proof is very simple and also uh, this is a um, Coulomb version of the previous theorem so we need to explain and uh, we can extend this to a block matrix version. Uh, so uh, this is a related to Barrow's result. Anyway, uh, so in this case, uh, we assume that uh, uh, D, 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 and DF be a block diagonal dominant and the block of diagonal part of the D. Then uh, assume that D is a symptomatic block low diagonal dominant, snarky, ah, namely uh, DD is inverted and uh, this one is called. If this quantity holds, if this inequality holds, then it holds that this holds. Uh, so I show little bit the examples. So first example, in first example, I consider this Z. So this matrix and diagonal element is one, two, three, two, n minus one, n. And of diagonal is uh, uh, 1.25 and uh, one. So, uh, so this is, this law is not, uh, diagonal domain. This row is also not diagonal. From this row, this matrix becomes uh, uh, diagonal dominant. And uh, in this, uh, this matrix, for this matrix, we can apply the asymptotic diagonal dominant matrix theory. And uh, so in, in this case, we divided this matrix like this. Then A becomes this one, B becomes this one, and A inverse becomes this one, and we can calculate A inverse B. So, um, 
we can prove that. Now, uh, the theorem, the condition of the previous theorem. So, and uh, um, so, uh, we can prove the, uh, the bound, we, we can have a bound of T and the very, uh, very impressive uh, feature of this matrix is uh, uh, the minimum similar value. And this is the uh, inverse of the minimum similar value is uh, unchanged if we include increase n. So uh, this is the typical feature of the uh, synthetic dynamic dominant matrix. So example two is similar, but uh, not a uh, uh, band matrix, but it, it has a uh, full matrix. In this case, we can apply also uh, uh, a synthetic dynamic dominant matrix. So, uh, Applying this one to 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 the Galatin equation, then then we we have this theorem. So that the uh, uh, if we take m is uh, uh, the order of the galactic approximation. And this is, this n is uh, uh, defined for the PT. Then uh, if this is satisfied, then we can calculate these quantities. This, this becomes uh, independent of the M. And so, uh, So we can calculate this one, this one, this one, this one, so that they, um, if this holds, then uh, for certain m, if m and n, if if we did this the quantity holds, then we can prove that. Uh, uh, for all n, for all n uh, larger than four uh, m, uh, this code so that the, uh, in the in this theorem, uh, in this theorem, we can put n uh, as large as possible, so that the, uh, we can neglect this one and this one, so that we have this estimate. So, so this is a very crucial theorem for the uh, existence proof of suburban solutions. So, so we have a lot of very interesting phenomena, but I don't have a time so that the, uh, now I apply this theorem to some typical parameter set. Mm. So uh, we, we, we would like now uh, verify the existence of subharmonic solutions. So uh, uh, so uh, instead of uh, cos cosine t, uh, we put cosine n as n is a two, three, uh, integer greater than one. And then uh, if we have a two pi periodic solution of this equation, then uh, this this one, if, if we have a two pi periodic solution of this, Equation, namely, we have, we, we have uh, x tilde, then this one becomes uh, near, uh, two pi, two n pi periodic solution. Namely, it is uh, one over n sub solution of the uh, 
uh, post issuance of the equation. So uh, we would like to solve this equation using uh, verified linear equation. Then, um, then for that purpose, we calculate the uh, um, stroboscopic bifurcation diagram. So we put parameter alpha equals 0 0.8, Beta equal 1.76, omega equal 1.6. Then we change in the horizontal axis, we change the tau. And the uh, uh, vertical axis, uh, uh, we plot the stroboscopic so that uh, uh, every pi, uh, two pi, uh, so two pi times the n. We plot the uh, trajectory, and of course we abandon the transient state. And uh, after some steady state, we plot uh, the trajectory uh, with the interval two pi. Then we have this uh, diagram. Then uh, uh, so this is a enlargement of this part. So um, probably this part is uh, one. So the trajectory is uh, one, uh, one time here and after uh, two, two pi times after then here. So this is a uh, one over two periodic solution, sub solution. Uh, probably this part is uh, chaotic, and this is window, and this is chaotic, and this is very uh, uh, long period. So later we will see that it is one over 15th subharmonic solution, then chaotic, and uh, uh, so some periodic solution is coming. This is period traveling. And uh, also this is chaotic and this is uh, one over three period. So, so uh, okay. And uh, so uh, we, so this is a uh, steady state solution so that uh, it is a stable, uh, one over two periodic solution group so that we can calculate it by uh, uh, by 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 a steady state of the uh, uh, numerical integration so so that uh, we can calculate uh, this one by uh, by uh, for example oil method then uh, using this solution, we can calculate the initial value of the Galakian equation. And then continuation method, we can calculate the, uh, by solving the Galakian equation, then we can follow the uh, one over two uh, solution branches. This is like this. This formula branch, but uh, this, this is near, near similar so that I missed to follow this one. But anyway, probably this, this, is, this form a loop. And this is an enlargement of this part. Then uh, this, this is this part. And uh, so this is, this is correct. Uh, horizontal axis. Uh, same with scale, so that uh, this this is uh, one over two. Um, this part is probably chaotic. This part is uh, probably chaotic, and uh, we can follow. This is uh, uh, an anti-symmetric one over seven subharmonics. 
And ah, sorry, sorry. This is a、uh, symmetric one over seven subharmonics. And、uh, symmetric breaking bifurcation generates a symmetric one over seven symmetric、ah, subharmonics here. And further, Uh, this part, this part, in this part,、uh, from asymmetric, this, almost this part, from、uh, asymmetric one over seven、uh, subharmonic、uh, by、uh, symmetry break by partition,、uh, one over 15 subharmonics is generated. And also, we can calculate、uh, one over s e v e A、symmetric one over third、uh, subham. Okay, so this is just a numerical simulation. And、uh, so we will prove、uh, one point on each branch.、Uh, we prove the existence of subham, one point on each branch. This is a、uh, two type of unit. This is one over three. This is one over seven. Uh, asymmetric, this is symmetric, this is one over 15, this is one over s i d And this is just a numerical simulation for, for this part and this part and this, this,、uh, this part and this part and this part. And this part. We choose one parameter and plot the p o i n c a r e map. Then、uh, it seems a theoretic a t t a c k This is a verification result. So that、uh, Newton c a t o l i c theorem says that if BR0 is less than one, then、uh, in the neighborhood of this one, of this、uh, radius, we have an exact solution, exact two s u b h a n d solution.、Uh, this is made by two, this one over two. One of the seven is the symmetric. Symmetric asymmetric. This is one of the seven. This is one of the seven. And、uh, for kappa is、uh, this quantity, so that、uh, uh, one over sigma n becomes、uh, less than this quantity. So,、uh, for this one over 14th、uh, subharmonics, kappa becomes、uh, like this.、Uh, here, E is a 10, so that the kappa is 6.2 times 10 to the 6. So that the,、uh, and, and in the previous cell, if we don't accelerate it, then、uh, we need、uh, any. Put、uh, one over, ah, sorry, sorry, six times two times ten、uh, to the six. So that it is extremely large, but uh, uh, we can prove the existence、uh, using accelerated convergence cell、uh, accelerated cell l、um, only m equal eight hundred. We can prove the existence of this solution. Um, however, uh, we need uh, in order to get this,、uh, this becomes less than one, we, we need to calculate the approximate solution by、uh, WW, namely the,、uh, and this、uh, WW means that the one、uh, floating point number is expressed by two doubles. And also, they should, uh, should be uh, calculated at w w Instead,、uh, if we don't use this technique, then we cannot prove that,、uh, prove that BR0 is less than one. So,、uh, I omit this one. And,、uh, so, then I, I found that.、Uh, For various values, for, for almost all values,、uh, we, we, we have a chaotic, a chaotic phenomenon. And also,、uh,
so uh, point very interesting is that in this case, uh, uh, alpha equal 0.83, beta equal 1.5, omega equal 4. Then if we change the tau, we have uh, this sequence of subharmonics. We can prove by computer to uh, exist mathematically the existence of these subharmonics. Also, we can prove yeah. at this parameter value, we have a stable window of one over 21 subharmonics. This is the trajectory, and we can prove that. It's existence by a computer. So, uh, so we have proved that uh, for this uh, forced reaction threat equation, very complex uh, dynamical uh, behavior is observed. And uh, we have proved uh, for some values, uh, various subharmonic solutions exist. Using uh, verified behavior. Okay, so thank you very much for uh, for, for sharing my uh, talks. Thank you, thank you very much, Professor Ishii. Thank you very much. Very interesting results. Um, are there any questions or comments? So let me begin then, uh, I have one. So yeah. you have three parameters, you have alpha, beta, and omega mm -hmm. in, your, in your model. Yeah, um, yeah. So you, I understand that you, you introduced uh, the forcing term um, because mm -hmm. of physical reasons or, or to, make, uh, to make your life easier. Mm -hmm. the, the, what is the reason again for introducing this uh, forcing term? Is it, is it really for physical reasons? Yes, yes. Uh, not really. Uh... Uh, cosine, uh, but uh, uh, so in summer, uh, uh, sun is coming stronger than, uh, uh, and the winter sun is the degree, the strength of the sun is decreasing. So that, uh, 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 so uh, the atmosphere is, uh, uh, the temperature of the atmosphere, uh, is is modeled by this oh, okay so then so now just a mathematical curiosity so it, do you know if it's possible to find chaos for some alpha if you let beta to be zero just now mathematically if for instance you you, you let uh, yeah yeah i i try to very hard but i cannot find the chaos for if beta equals beta zero, beta equals zero. yeah i uh, see only, only a uh, uh, periodic solution. Uh, very simple subharmonic solution. Uh, sub it is very difficult to find uh, even the subharmonic solutions. I only, see. I see. Only okay. any, uh, only a uh, uh, synchronous periodic solution. Uh, uh -huh. it because it looks sim at beta equals zero. It looks similar to the. The Aikida, there's a, a cubic Aikida model, a delay differential equation. And it seems mm. it's not the same because, but it's still cubic mm. and it has a delay term. And mm. uh, it, it seems similar and it has, it seems to have chaos uh, without mm -hmm. external forcing term. That's why I was curious. Okay. So, uh, so this is the first order equation. So, uh, mm, I, 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 I'm sorry, sorry. Uh, uh, in this case, we can find a very complex behavior if beta equals. Okay, so. thank you very much. Okay, are there um, other questions or comments? Can I have one? Yeah. Sure. Yeah, so uh, thank you very much for very interesting talk. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I like the theory of uh, asymptotically dynamical dominant, dominant matrix mm -hmm. theory. Mm -hmm. Yes, I, actually, uh, in in the this community, so mm -hmm. we use uh, the we use to get uh, inverse of uh, Jacobian matrix. 
by using some adding a pad, padding pad, uh, padding uh, some zero uh, mm -hmm. for the for the uh, uh, numerical solution, mm -hmm. then we can prove the invertibility of Jacobian matrix by mm -hmm. using some standard uh, verification technique. But mm -hmm. on the other hand, your technique can help uh, mm -hmm. the such a computer assisted proof technique. Mm -hmm. I mean, that to improve the computer assisted proof technique to the uh, to prove to prove the invertibility of such uh, inverse inverse of Jacobian matrix, I like I like it very much. And mm. how I my my question is uh, <clears throat> my question is uh, uh, how to I mean your result is based on the uh, L two uh, L L two functional space, mm. so that if we consider L one or L infinity uh, result how to how how do we how do we change or we how uh, can can we change can we can we apply your technique to the direct your technique directly to the such uh, another uh, another function space mm. so uh, basically it we use uh, L, L infinity and l1. Uh, oh, okay. It mm -hmm. is difficult. <laughs> so yeah. We use this equality. So the essentially, we use this one. This one. We mm -hmm. only calculate this one. Ah, uh, so you are uh, uh, getting uh, L, upper L, L bound. L bound and the L one bound. So upper bound, upper bound. Well, by using a uh, infinity times L one norm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and. Okay. Uh, uh, Mm, this this is not a very uh, sharp band, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, but I found the phenomena that uh, minimum singular value is unchanged mm -hmm. uh, if the size of the galactic equation is uh, around uh, thousand some, something. Okay. So after the uh, mm, Around a hundred or something, or, or, I, I don't know, but uh, uh, probably I think uh, for the galactic equation, uh, minimum singular value is becomes constant. Mm -hmm. If we if we enlarge the matrix, but the uh, uh, singular value is added, but it is not a minimum, uh, okay. not small, only a bigger one is added. Uh, so it yes. comes from the structure of the uh, galactic equation for the differential equation. Since the mm -hmm. uh, differential operator, so if we use, then the diagram element becomes larger and larger. Since uh, the, uh, for example, Fourier basis, we, we use a cosine m, m t and sine t. Then the uh, first derivative means that uh, Cosine m t uh, differentiate with uh, t, then uh, n is go outside. So, so, so that uh, usually uh, diagonal element becomes larger and larger if you increase n. And so mm -hmm. that the uh, border matrix, so that the uh, smaller galactic, uh, galactic uh, Jacobian of the smaller galactic, uh, uh, smaller dimensional galactic equation mm -hmm. is border. Uh, if we increase the size of the uh, galaxy approximation, then uh, only a uh, only, uh, large, large, uh, larger single value is added. It, mm -hmm. it, it is only phenomenal, it is only exper uh, experimental rule I found. So that the, I, I, I think my. Uh, my uh, uh, my conjecture is that the uh, uh, minimum singular value is unchanged mm. for almost all uh, galaxy, uh, Jacobian of the galaxy. Uh, so, so you mean so it, it, uh, it is this... very important result since uh, mm. it, if 
so I, I feel that we don't need a very extremely large galactic approximation. Uh, mm -hmm. We only need a, a suitable size, <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. around a thousand or something, uh, at most thousand. So that's so such mm. such an unchanging phenomena is mm. related is to this technique. In, observed in various examples. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, asymptotic diagonal dominance matrix theory is uh, applicable to various uh, uh, Jacobian galaxy equations. So, so mm -hmm. it, it is all, almost all uh, applicable for almost all uh, Jacobian galaxy okay. And uh, so. if if in the future I can prove that conjecture that the mm -hmm. Shura yeah, Valley is unchanged, but uh, I, I don't, at the present, I don't have a direct proof. I see. Thank you very much. Yes, thank you. Right, uh, other questions? Uh, yes. Um, well, this is a quick thinking. I'm, I'm not sure this is true. Mm -hmm. uh, with the equations uh, 24, 25 you have mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so the denominator, mm -hmm. uh, GII minus RI. Mm -hmm. um, so this is basically the, um, the distance of uh, zero to mm -hmm. the ith Gershkorin circle. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. So that means um, all eigenvalues are in absolute value uh, greater or equal than the denominator, than the minimum minimum denominator. Mm -hmm. Yes, but <clears throat> um, the singular values mm -hmm. are uh, larger than the, the smallest singular value is bounded below by the smallest eigenvalue. Mm -hmm. So then the smallest singular value is bounded below by the denominator we see here. Uh -huh. But the inverse of the matrix, the two, the two norm of the inverse, mm -hmm. uh, is a one divided by the smallest singular value. Mm -hmm. uh, so it, the two norm should be bounded below in, in formula 26 mm -hmm. uh, by just not the square root, but just the minimum of the uh, GII minus RI um, or the minimum of the GII minus CI. Is this correct? Mm. I'm not sure now. <laughs> <laughs> so. So. Uh, maybe I have to write it down. Yeah. So this okay, is just okay, a quick okay, thinking. Okay. Anyway, so do you do you have uh, copies of of the transparencies or maybe a paper or something on that? I I, I, I already submitted it to ah, uh -huh. another and it is it will appear in July. So that I have a draft so that I can send to you. Ah, yeah, that would be very nice. Yeah, yeah. So mm, this this one is very <laughs> this is very important trick, <laughs> mm -hmm. not from one, but uh, some value P. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay, um, other questions or comments? Maybe I can just one, make one comment. Okay, uh, no, so Tibor Sendes has uh, raised his oh. hand, so yeah. Tibor. <laughs> yeah. Yes, hi, uh, Oishi-sensei, uh, good to see you. Uh, yes. Do you think that uh, for this chaos search, which you mentioned, ah. mm -hmm. geometric uh, approaches like the smell horseshoe can uh, do something? Do you think that it is applicable? Because if such a condition uh, can be proven, then uh, we had some positive experience with automatic search. So you, it mm -hmm. is not you who should search, but a, an optimization program will do it uh, for you. So it, it, it may need a lot of time, computational mm -hmm. time, but still it is not your work. So it is, it is a, maybe we can discuss it uh, offline. Ah, uh, okay. If you, you, if you agree. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, I'll do it. But bye bye. Uh, 
Uh, so uh, one comment. <laughs> so yeah. uh, before calculating, uh, uh, so first I think that the chaos is very rare, and I must touch. But uh, uh, now I I found that everywhere chaos is that yeah, so that it is very easy to find the chaos state. So mm -hmm. if we randomly put the parameter then calculate this, this uh, bifurcation diagram, then some part it appears chaos. So that uh, uh, it is very rare if the chaos does, rare cases, the uh, chaos does not appear case. <laughs> so you, usually we can find some part uh, in which chaos appears. So that it is very easy to find uh, Chaos phenomenon, uh, parameter set with the chaos up here. Yeah. Uh, in your, your uh, slides, I have seen that relatively large regions mm -hmm. were noted that uh, maybe chaos is there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if it is really a, a big uh, place, then mm -hmm. it, it is a good chance uh, that you could prove it with computational proof. Ah, uh, of okay. chaos. It, it, it depends on this uh, range. But okay, uh, okay. in other cases, in this pendulum case, we could mm -hmm. uh, prove chaos also for for zero metric uh, small places. So sometimes uh, it is also okay, possible. Okay. I understand but, your your comments. Yeah. Okay. So later, please uh, give me uh, discuss about uh, how to prove offline. Yeah. This thing. Okay. Okay. Other questions or comments? Also, I found uh, uh, various uh, interesting bifurcation. Uh, for example, hmm. so this is not chaos, and uh, this is probably uh, almost periodic or something. So that. Uh, Various uh, non periodic phenomena also can, be, can also appear. appear, uh, appear. Mm -hmm. A very rich. So A I, very, I had. Very uh, rich uh, dynamics. Yeah, so I have one, one actually comment. So I would be interested to compare because we have approaches to also compute the norm of inverses using uh, an approximate inverse of, say, the, the Fischer derivative and then using that combined with. The fact that it is the, the, the operators are asymptotically diagonal dominant, then we use a, an approximate inverse combined with the Neumann series argument to get a norm on the inverse of the Frisia derivative. And I would be interested to combine or to compare uh, the, the, the values for the, the, the bound. The, the downside of our approach is that we have to invert numerically, but not with interval arithmetic, but we have to invert numerically a large, uh, a large matrix and then compute, a, say, a, a matrix or an operator norm. So maybe that's a bit more computationally expensive, but I would still be interested to compare uh, at some point with your approach. Okay. Yeah. Does this matrix have some properties? Yeah, it's exactly the... I mean, we use the fact that the Frisia derivative is asymptotically diagonal dominant to approximate it by an approximate derivative first by putting a finite block and we just keep the diagonal in the, mm -hmm. in the tail. And then we ah. invert numerically the finite block. We put uh, in, the, in the tail one over the, the, I guess you have one over two n minus one or something. So that's one over two k minus one. And we use that approximate inverse to, um, to compute basically uh, the, ident the norm of the identity minus A, the approximate inverse times the Frisia derivative. Mm -hmm. And by computing that operator norm, if it's less than one, then we use Neumann series afterward to get a rigorous bound on the norm of the inverse of the true Frisia derivative. So that has a computational cost, but it kind of gives us very tight bounds for the norm of the inverse. But I would still be interested to compare with, with your proposed approach, Professor Rishi. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I, I think I will look at your preprint. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> so, so I would be also happy if I could have a, a if you could send me a, a copy. Ah, okay, I will send you later. Okay. Um, 
some last questions. I actually, I, I think that some people joined because uh, maybe because of the time change. So it's funny mm -hmm. the, the number of participants went down and then it went up again. So I think people just joined. So <laughs> anyway, so are there any last questions or comments? Maybe people will just join. You want to know about the talk? Well, it will be recorded. So it, it is recorded. It will appear on the YouTube uh, channel of the CRM in some, in some weeks. So if there are no more questions, then I would like uh, to warmly thank you, Professor Oishi, to take your time uh, in this uh, evening. And in Japan right now, it is 11.15 p.m. So <laughs> thanks a lot for finding uh, time, energy, and um, motivation to give us a talk today. It was very appreciated. And we'll see you all next week for the CRM camp uh, at the regular time. And once again, thank you very much. And see you. See you soon. See you all. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Yes. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.